Hello and welcome to this Nordic ID Sampoes One Technical Training Webinar. My name is Janne McLennan and in this webinar I'll go through the technical details of Sampoes One and show you how to test out the reader with the RFID demo application. At the end of the webinar I'll be answering to your questions. You can type in the questions using the live meeting chat feature. The Nudica ID Sampo S1 is based on NU05W reader module, which is developed by Nudica ID. The same model is used in our newest handheld devices, which means that we really understand the underlying technology, although this is our very first fixed reader we have ever brought to market. What Nudica ID Sampo S1 is all about? In essence, it's a low-cost UHF RFID reader with USB connectivity for reading and writing EPC Gen2 tags and offering great price and performance ratio. All the basic read and write operations specified in Gen2 standard are supported, but in addition to that, also the NXP and Monster proprietary protocols are supported, providing special features like using the reader and tags as an EAS system. Nudica Sampo S1 comes with the multi-region support which makes it possible to use the device in different parts of the world with different radio regulations. For a fixed RFID reader and performance that Sampo S1 is providing, it has a very low power consumption. It takes a maximum of 3 watts of power, which can be supplied via the USB cable. When the USB Y cable is used, there is no need for an external power supply. Some USB hubs and PCs might not be able to supply the 3 watts of power, which is indicated with an orange LED in the unit. In those cases, an external power is needed for operating the reader. With Sampo S1, there is always included a mounting kit in the package, which can be used for mounting the unit, for example, on the wall or under the table. USB powering option and multiple mounting options makes the installation of the unit very easy to do. The unique feature to Sampo S1 are the on-call light and tapping sensors. These make the use of the device more flexible and easier, as they can be used, for example, for triggering the reading automatically. The behavior of the sensors can be configured in the end user application. The sample S1 reader contains an internal high performance antenna with a circular polarization. The reading zone of the antenna is pointing upwards from the unit and due to the circular polarization, the overall reading performance is less sensitive for the back orientation. The internal antenna has a gain of 5 dpi's and the maximum radiated power from the reader is 30 dpm in ERP power. That equals to 1 watt of ERP power. The limit for the radiated power in Europe is set by ETSI organization and that is 2 watts. In North America, the radio regulations are set by FCC and the maximum output power there is 4 watts in EIRP power. Samples 1 watt of ERP power equals to 1.2 watts of EIRP power. In many applications, there is need for limiting the reading range and only to read the closest text to the reader. This can be done with sample as the output power can be adjusted in 1 dp steps. There is a sample S1 variant available with an external antenna port. The antenna port is, same, is a SMA connector and tuned for 50 ohms. With the external antenna it's easy to expand the total reading coverage. Nordicardi also offers sample S0 antennas to be used together with sample S1. The maximum output power that can be fed to the external antenna port is 27 dpm. If other than sample S0 antenna is used, 
make sure that the gain of the antenna is not too high and the local radio repressions are not violated. As with the internal antenna, the power which is fed through the external antenna port can be adjusted in 1 dB steps by the end user application. Through the end user application, it's also possible to control which antenna is used and when, or let sample to automatically switch them. For a USB RFID reader, Sampo S1 offers great performance. The nominal inventory speed for the unit is 150 tags per second. In a single tag reading, the reading range varies from 1 meter up to 7 or 8 meters, depending on the tag model. Usually the bigger the tag is, the better is the reading distance. On the table, there are listed some of the most commonly used passive tags from well-known tag manufacturers. Although being a low-cost reader, Sampo S1 is highly adjustable. That's a key factor for a successful RFID installation, as getting the full benefits of the RFID system can only be realized through testing and finding the correct parameters. With Sampo S1, both the radio link and the reading-related parameters can be configured. Finding the optimal settings for some of the reading parameters can be also led for the reader to take care of. Then about the application development. The communication between the Sampos 1 and the end user application is done through NUR API. For the connection, a USB driver for NUDIC ID has to be installed on a host computer. Currently, the supported languages are C, C++ and .NET languages. Java support is in a roadmap. The SDK package contains documentation regarding the API and sample codes and projects which are made for Visual Studio. For testing the unit, the packet also contains an RFID demo application which basically lets the user to try out how changing all the parameters affects the reading performance. With the application, it's also possible to conduct simple site surveys for finding possible radio disturbance sources in the installation site. RF noise in the RFID frequency band might significantly decrease the RFID system's performance in the area. The SDK package will be available for download at Nordic ID's web pages and in Extranet. For development purposes, we have also a Sample OS 1 development kit available. The kit contains Sampo S1 reader with an external antenna port, a USB Y cable, quick guide, some passive sample tags, mounting kit, and a USB stick with the SDK documentations, sample codes, and so on. The package will also contain an external power for powering the unit. If you have any further questions regarding Sampo S1 or the SDK package after this webinar, you can contact me directly or Nordic ID support. Next, I'll demonstrate the usage of the RFID demo application together with the Sampo S1 unit.